filmmaking trends change as much as the place where I lay my car keys. I just learned the Sam Calder zoom and now everybody's laughing at me for using it. And that's how fast it all goes. And I really need to find my car keys, otherwise I'm going to miss the trend train to work. And my boss is going to be very angry and kick my ass if I'm late. Or fire me. Now while I'm driving, let me tell you what I noticed in the past years. A lot of new cool filmmaking technology came out, but being in the early stages, we couldn't really use it. However, throughout the years, everything got more optimized and integrated. So a lot of those techniques will be popular this year. And as creators, we can't stay behind. Just like I'm behind this damn truck. Get out of the way! Now a trend that I can already see is the quality of the video production. It's so much higher than a few years ago. Just look at all the big YouTubers. Mr. Beast, Marcus Brownlee, Corridor, they all have a crew and a major production behind every video. They set the bar for quality very high and the solo creator has to follow. Back in the old days you could do a rotoscope walk-by transition and everybody was freaking out. Now you have to hire James Cameron to get some likes. And maybe I just need to hire him to blow up this traffic jam. At this rate I'll never be on time. But how do we raise the bar if we don't have a crew? For instance, lighting. Make your light setup as cinematic as possible. Try to create depth in your scene by separating your talent from the rest. A simple backlight can do the trick. And use practical lighting to make your scene more interesting. This is something simple we can all do and it makes a big difference. Something else important is sound. Did you ever watch a video with bad sound? And did you finish it? Well, I can't. Because you're a quitter. Bad sound immediately gives a feeling of amateurism. So make sure that your audio quality is good for every sound in your video. One simple thing you can do is bring your mic as close as possible to your subject. These days there are enough super affordable wireless mics that work great. And while you're editing, adding sound effects will really raise the quality of your video. You can either record them yourself or just download them. So don't skip on sound. Just like you shouldn't skip on camera framing. A while back run and gun vlogging was super trendy. Every shot was shaky and out of focus. But nowadays the viewer expects more. They expect cinematic shots. Shots that tell stories on their own. Look at Peter McKinnon. Every shot you see has been thought through, giving a reason to everything that you see. But how do we achieve this? Well, you have to start scripting your video. I also do this with the videos we make, giving myself more time to think about certain shots, transitions and framings. This way I can tell the best story. And yes, you can even do that with vlogs. Now, if you want to learn more about lighting, framing or everything filmmaking related, definitely check out Storyblocks' beginner video course, link in the description below. Okay, I made it to the train station. Now let me check what time the train is coming. Oh man, I get distracted. I saw this cool TikTok dance. Maybe I can also do that. But all distractions aside, short form video is here to stay and it will only get bigger in 2023. Whether you like it or not, every social media platform is going all in on it. Just look at YouTube Shorts. But it has a major downside. The concentration of the viewer is declining and they need more incentives. They consume so much while watching short videos that they need to get hooked again and again. And this makes it so much harder to make videos long or short. However, there is a solution, something to keep your viewers watching and coming back for more. And it's also something we try to do with our videos. Storytelling. Tell a story where the viewer can relate to. Try to invoke emotions, good or bad. Set up something that the viewer wants to stick around for. Just like a feature film. Our hero needs to be the villain, but if he doesn't, the world will end. Whether you are making educational content, commercials, vlogs or whatnot, storytelling has to be your main focus in 2023. Ah, look at that. The Storyblocks train is leaving, our sponsor for today's video. And that's a train you absolutely don't want to miss. I have been on that ride a thousand times and I keep returning to it. Now, did you hear about our game-changing plugin for Premiere Pro? Here you can find our entire library sitting inside a Premiere Pro window, meaning you have more than 1 million royalty-free high quality stock assets right there one click away while you edit. No more switching between browser and project or like me forgetting where you saved your clips. It streamlines your workflow immensely letting you create more awesome stuff. Now besides the plugin there are also thousands of pre-made professional templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. These will take your videos to the next level and everything Storyblocks has to offer is for a set price with their subscription plan. No hidden fees, no surprises and no royalties. They have everything you need to 
to make your video stand out and they keep on adding content prioritizing in demand keywords meaning you can always find something you want so take back creative control with storyblocks unlimited royalty free stock library and tools today if you want to know more about storyblocks click the first link in the description below or go straight to storyblocks.com slash cinecom no wait that was our second YouTube channel premiere basics. They just stepped on the editing trend wagon and left me behind. My boss is going to be so mad. But in the meantime, let me check out the editing styles of today. And we can notice something very obvious. Editing has become more simple. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not easier to edit, it's just less flashy. Ah, I remember the glitch and zoom transitions like it was yesterday. Those were the days. However, Marcus Brownlee is a great example for simple editing. If you watch his videos, everything is clean but efficient. His edits never feel slow and every cut has a purpose. And there are so many editing techniques to help you with this, like a L or J cut. Using sound to introduce the next or previous clip or maybe a match cut where you have a visual element in one shot that repeats itself in the next shot i really get that feeling that filmmaking is getting back to its classical roots the traditional cinematic shots and edits oh man my train just got delayed i'll never be on time and i just learned these cool new filmmaking trends my boss is probably stretching his butt kicking leg already now something that also kicked butt last year was unreal engine suddenly every creator was playing around in the engine and even we jumped on that wagon but where is it going because with the huge 5.1 update it's looking more and more appealing for us creators it's no longer just a game engine it's a powerful tool for filmmakers just look at the series 1899 for which the scenery is made with unreal engine they shot almost every Everything on an LED wall. And the cool thing is that Unreal is actually pretty easy to an extent. You don't need any 3D experience, just drag and drop. Making it accessible for everyone that wants to create concept art, virtual productions and maybe even use it for simple green screen replacements. The train! I will miss it! Now I can't say that I'm going to make the jump, but something I am certain of is that AI is going to be one of the biggest trends of 2023. It already blew up last year and this translated in countless AI tools, popping out of the ground like potatoes planted in poop. Ah, oh, fuck you Mars. You can do some really fun stuff with AI, but the main reason why it will thrive is the power to make our filmmaking workflow so much easier. From writing scripts, making storyboards, creating VFX backgrounds and so much more. These AI tools are starting to mature and are becoming really useful. All our editing softwares will implement more and more AI. We already know that the rotoscope function in After Effects is powered by Adobe Sensei and they will probably add some more over time. So they weren't kidding, AI will take over everything. But don't be worried, I don't think AI will take over our jobs. I mean, I think. I do believe that people who use and embrace AI in their workflow will have the upper hand towards the rest. Oh, look at that, just on time. Even five minutes to spare. Let's watch some TikTok. Two hours later. Wait, where's Janik? Ah, snap. I got distracted again. Now, before I get my ass kicked, maybe you can start off the new year by adding more AI tools to your editing workflow. Check out the video on my left. Hopefully, I see you next week. And as always, stay creative.